said to have originated in South America. Cassava plays a significant role in developing countries because it does well on poor soils and with low rainfall. Its wide harvesting window allows it to act as a famine reserve and helps to manage labor schedules. It offers flexibility to resource poor farmers because it serves as either a subsistence or a cash crop. Cassava has of late been labeled by FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the UN, as the Rambo crop. If you remember the Rambo movies, so this is a crop that can do very well, has robust growth under extremely harsh conditions. And yet it has a wide variety of uses. This versatile crop is used as a carbohydrate rich staple, as well as in confectionery, animal feeds, biofuel, medicine, laundry starch and alcoholic beverages. Pilot research and training project of the ARC's Institute for Agricultural Engineering is currently promoting the mechanization of cassava production in the eastern part of South Africa. This climate resilient crop shows great potential for mechanized production, which can prove to be a boon for regional food security. Uh, cassava is an environmentally friendly, uh, climate resistant, and then uh, climate smart crop. Uh, cassava requires very little resources to grow. If it grows on marginal lands where most crops will fail. The best areas for planting cassava in South Africa are mainly the northeastern part of South Africa, encompassing Mpumalanga and uh, Limpopo provinces. And specifically, you need areas that do not uh, have uh, occurrence of frost during winter. Here at the University of Venda, Extension officers and smallholder farmers receive training in mechanized production techniques. Until now, cassava production was viable on a small scale, but not economic or practical on a commercial scale. Mechanization will encourage farmers to engage in larger scale operations. Uh, it is an ideal crop for smallholder farmers in terms of uh, food security and also given the current scenario whereby we are having climate change and we are getting less and less rainfall. In the long run, we find that cassava may be one of the best options for such climatic areas. Actually, Africa is a leading producer of cassava in the world, close to 60% of the global uh, production. And then the rest are contributed by Latin America and Southeast Asia, especially Thailand, Indonesia, and then China. But it is surprising to realize that out of uh, the whole uh, export market or export potential of cassava, Africa contributes virtually zero or negligible. Uh, the main reason being that uh, the production on Af in Africa is small scale. There's very little mechanization in cassava production. And more particularly, uh, the harvesting of cassava has been the main bottleneck in expanding production all year round. <laughs> Manual harvesting of cassava, to harvest one, one plant of cassava takes about 10 minutes. Now imagine you are a commercial farmer with 100 hectares under cassava. How long is it going to take you to, to harvest that 100 hectares? When it comes to harvesting, especially during the dry season, it is a very, very tedious work, very laborious and painful. And you know you have to harvest this in a stooping position and that calls for a lot of uh, energy and time. And if cassava wants to become a, an industrial crop, then this drudgery in the manual production, especially the manual harvesting, must be overcome. If we have to push uh, cassava to commercial production, then we need mechanical harvesting. When you compare the output of that uh, device to that of manual harvesting, it takes about 
one second to harvest a plant using the device with a tractor. As a proven food security staple, cassava could be the best bet for farmers to beat climate change, according to the latest research by climate scientists. And with this innovative harvesting technique, even smallholder farmers can now consider commercial production. 20% of the weight of a cassava is stash. Now, if you get 50, 50 tons per hectare, you are talking about 10 tons of stash. And on the world market now, uh, a ton of cassava stash is going between $600 to $800, which means if you do cassava and then you, you may get about $6,000 to $8,000 per hectare. In many countries, including China, cassava is becoming a sought-after feedstock for ethanol biofuel production. And considering that in South Africa, we are not allowed to use maize for production of bioethanol, then cassava comes in very, very handy. Cassava tubers and hay, which is made from the leaves, are also used worldwide as high-quality animal feed. This versatile, easy-to-grow crop could be exactly what farmers have been waiting for. During the initial stages of growth, the cassava grows very, very slowly. So the farmers have the advantage that they can intercrop cassava with their staple crops, whether it's maize or beans or cowpea. What we are recommending is that we want to actually start with mixed cropping so that uh, the farmers can intercrop cassava with early maturing crops that they are used to so that this will serve as some sort of a, a food security uh, for them to harvest early. And cassava being one of the lesser known indigenous crops, I mean, with the technology we are rolling out with our colleagues in the Institute of Industrial Crops in Rustenburg, and then we in the engineering, then our colleagues in the Institute for Tropical and Subtropical Crops in Nesprit. If you bring our expertise together and harness it like the way we are doing now, it is likely we can project cassava from its present obscurity as a lesser known crop to one of the leading industrial crops that uh, this country can promote and then with a ARC's role. This crop within a very short time can assume a leading role as a, an industrial crop in this country with a lot of potential to bring in a lot of income and generate a lot of uh, employment also. Cassava is truly amazing. It can enhance nutrition and reduce climate risk. Thanks to the ARC's innovative new technology, it can soon become one of the leading superstars of African agriculture.